Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a quick review of the Cover All Foundation and Powder from Wet n Wild. So I got these in the shade Medium, which I think um, these do not have a great color selection. So if you're, you should really have a difficult time choosing a color, you might want to stay away from these. Um, the Medium is a little bit light, like right now I usually am like a true beige kind of tone. Um, so that gives you an idea of what these would look like, but for the winter, it's like the perfect shade for me. So, to start off, the Cover All Foundation is one ounce, which sounds like not that much, and it looks like it's not that much, but actually that's the average size foundation size. So it looks smaller, but it's the normal size. And then you get the Cover All Pressed Powder, which, um, I don't, I'm not sure how much is in here. Hold up. Yeah, I just, I don't know, it doesn't say. So, I'm just going to give a quick description of what these promise. So, for the foundation, it's a medium to full coverage foundation. It has, like, this Visibrite complex, which is something that they term themselves, so I'm not really sure how that works. It's supposed to help um, with fine lines and wrinkles. Um, I don't have that issue, so I wouldn't be able to uh, remark on that. However, it's also a matte uh, finish. So if you have really oily skin, and I have combination skin, then this might be a good option for you. So oilier combination, even if you have regular skin, even you just like matte finish foundations, then this might be a good option. Now I do have to say it's a very, very creamy formula, which I love. Um, so I'll just give you a quick idea of what it looks like. It's very creamy. And if you've ever tried any other Wet n Wild foundation, you know that they're really liquidy, they're really poor quality, they do not have um, full coverage, and I really have never been a fan of their um, face products at all. Um, but I decided to give this a chance because it, the packaging looks really, really sleek, first of all. And second of all, um, I decided to give it because I also had a $1 off coupon, so it ended up being really, really affordable. So for the Cover All Press Powder, you get a product that looks like this. So it's a square pressed powder, and it comes with like a little sponge that you can use to apply. I don't really use that much, um, sometimes just on my nose a little, but for some extra coverage. But usually I just use a blush brush or a really nice base brush, and usually that comes to the Techniques blush brush. Um, so for the full coverage on this, I wrote down notes because I decided to try it out for a full day um, and then I wore it throughout the week to make sure that, that were like, those were like real results that I would usually get. So just a quick note. So I started wearing this at 8 a.m. around 12, around 12, at 12 o'clock, which four hours later, I noticed that there was um, still full coverage. I had oil starting to peek through on my nose just a little bit and on the top of my cheeks. So really just right here and right here. Those are really my problem areas. So I was trying this out to see how good it was at um, being a matte foundation. So then at 2 o'clock, it looked around the same. I didn't really notice any more oiliness. But 3 o'clock, an hour later, so that totals to a total of 7 hours of daily use. Um, I started seeing my dark marks. So if you have um, acne problems and stuff like that and you want to cover that and you have this on all day, seven hours in I started to see those popping through. That's not really an issue of mine for an everyday foundation. This is amazing, especially for the price, I think. Um, and then around five o'clock, another two hours, so I guess nine hours in, if I'm doing the math correctly. Um, maybe I'm not. No, nine, nine hours in. I saw oil on my forehead, on my T-zone, and I had a really oily nose. So nine hours in, it kind of faded um, and didn't serve its purpose as much. Um, I do have to say for an everyday foundation, though, if you wear foundation for around eight or nine hours, it is really good. I love the consistency. It's very thick, really creamy, and great at covering. So if you can tell, it's really nice. It feels really light on your skin. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't cake up on me. Um, I'm really quite a fan of it. Um, 
and I think I'll be continuing to use it because of the price point. It's really great. And it does compete with um, other foundations that I have, um, other drugstore brands like the Rimmel one or like um, some L'Oreal, some, uh, what else brands do I have? Maybelline. My Maybelline one, um, I have the Dream Liquid Mousse, is quite better. It's a little bit better, I have to admit. Um, it does cover a little bit more. However, I'll tell you the prices of these two. So, with the $1 coupon, this ended up being $2.49, which you cannot beat. You cannot find a cheaper foundation. So I really, really, really liked this for the price. It was amazing. And it's the same amount of product as the Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation from Maybelline. So, same amount, if you're used to that size, it's the same amount in size. Um, and you cannot beat 249 Amazing. And in certain areas, it might be even less. So for the pressed powder, it did not have any kind of coupon, but it was 349 So it didn't have that. So they're the same in price. This one just had a $1 off coupon. Um, and for your pressed powder, really great. I really like this one because it's really creamy and silky. Like, it's really fine milk. You can tell on my finger. It just goes on like silk. It's really, really creamy and silky um, for a powder. So if you're thinking about the quality, very good quality powder especially. And the foundation, it did last all day. It's not the best foundation I ever used, but for an everyday foundation and for the price point, it's pretty great. So I really recommend picking these up. I really love the packaging, as you can tell. The total cost for both of these products was $5.98. So that's amazing. You can't even found, find a foundation usually for less than like eight or nine dollars. Let's be honest. That just doesn't exist. Um, but for you to get a full size foundation and a pressed powder for that price for five eighty ninety eight, great. So um, I like that they're good quality. I don't seem to have a problem. It doesn't make me break out because it actually doesn't contain any oil as well. So if that's something that you worry about breaking out like me. I have combination skin so I'm always having to check information on products make sure that it wouldn't make me break out. didn't make me break out at all. I'm not sure if it would make other people break out. That's just my skin. It doesn't have any oil so I like that. Um, and I'm using it now so if you can tell it's pretty great at covering everything. Um, although my lighting might be making it look a little bit better. But I'm really a fan of them, and um, if you guys want to know anything about what I'm wearing or anything like that, um, comment below. I was thinking of maybe doing this kind of smoky, sultry look for you guys soon. Um, I'm really quite a fan. I'm about to actually go on a date, so I really love the look. But um, let me know what you guys think, and comment below, please. I really, really want to hear back from you. Let me know what kind of video you want to see um, from me next, and... I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.